game. We need to get the game started because it's already uh, three o'clock. They said be, they said we'd be done by now. They said we'd be done. I have I have things to do. I have I have people to see. It's my Sunday. is my day off. I streamed all day yesterday. It's my only day off. Oh well, I'm glad to be here with you guys. It's fun. This is good. This is fun. My voice though. I won't be doing much talking tonight. I'll tell you guys that. Oh my holy moly. I need some more water actually. I'm out of water. I'm so low on water. I'm just taking some gentle sips. We see the Yenna ban instantly. Guys, they know they know how to draft. It's so good. It's so nice to see. You see the Yenna ban instant. Like because the red team. Bento the God is such an imposing Yenna player. That's what you got to do when, when they have such a strong player that's carrying. You just, you got to look at that and you got to say, what are we going to do about that? Oh, yeah. You can counter pick. Oh, yeah. oh zip. Zip. Guys, we're going to see zip. Zip. Oh, I'm so excited to see Zip, guys. If I watch Zip a lot and talk about Zip a lot, don't worry. It's okay. You you rarely get to see Zip. You need to, you need to do enough commentating for Zip for one game to last 10 games because you, you'll see Zip maybe one in 10 games. Maybe that. So who's Bento God going to pick? That's what I'm curious. So Bento God's usually, usually the... The Yenna. The Yenna's been banned now. Oh my god. What a scary skin. That skin gives me nightmares. That's because uh, WED has a team that five mans rank every day. I run into them in master rank all the time. Oh, that's good to know, Firefrog. That makes sense. I mean, they play together. They're, that's If you want to be competitive, that's what you got to do, my dudes. That's what you got to do. 22028 for Twitch says, I like your beatbox. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, search Peter Pot on YouTube. Pita Pot on YouTube if you want to see more of what I do. But we got Zada. Man, this is the server's best Zada, I'm pretty sure. We, we've we had a few Zadas today who are all really strong. And this might be... I know one of them was server's best Zada. Might be this one here. Might be this one here. Somebody says LOL Sinestria. Yeah, we haven't seen Sinestria. We haven't seen Sinestria chosen or banned, which is interesting. I wonder if there's counter picks for her. Probably. I mean, she's so strong and so new. We see Thorn banned. We actually have not seen Thorn yet today. He's very new. Bento God is going to pick Raz. He's very good with him. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I'd be scared of Bento. Bento the God. That's like that's one of the players for me right now currently. Probably the number one standout player of the tournament so far. We've seen a few really good players. I mean, Tiny Awkward last game was popping off with the Chogner. Thank you! But the Yenna, uh, like, for multiple games. Thank you for the follow. 220284 Twitch. I appreciate that. Also, the, we had a Zada earlier who did very well, too. We'll probably see this Zada again. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and watch the previous games if you miss some. They'll be hosted on my stream. Uh, review here. I'll also be providing this whole video footage to Anihi to chop up and do with what he desires. Because he's going to make some YouTube videos of all this of all this good stuff. We see Fennec in the jungle. Interesting. So Fennec's pretty good. Like the, I'm really looking at Zip. He's so imposing that you just wonder, okay, how are you going to counter Zip? What are you going to do against Zip? So I play Zip a lot, so I can lend in my insight. What's really annoying is Zip. Well, Zip is not a, a great macro character. So if your opponents have somebody like, let's say, Nakroth is a great example. Nakroth is really good at split pushing and winning a macro game. Superman, similar. Fennec, kind of. Fennec can actually do a lot of damage to towers. So Fennec's somewhere up there. I mean, nowhere near as imposing macro wise as Nakroth is but you know Fennec can do a good job so that's strong against Zip poke compositions are also pretty good against Zip so if you see like Elsu Elsu is really annoying against Zip I find 
don't pick Aram. Tiny, don't do it. Aram is not good at all against Zip. Zip counters Aram really hard. We might see Wyro. Tiny's pocket pick. Mike P. Hey, Mike. Welcome. <laughs> Wyro support calling it now. You are a prophet. Yeah, because we are on stream delay. So you have no idea that he's even looking at the Wyro. So Wyro has a lot of crowd control. Might actually be pretty good against Zip. You know who else is good here? I honestly think that Rui would be a very strong pick here. Personally, I mean, I don't think Tiny plays Rui. But Rui's really good in terms of the macro game. Move your entire team up to the top lane, the bottom lane, wherever you want to go with your ultimate. Really strong. When that's a really strong counter to Zip. Uh, what else is strong against Zip? Oh, Rui's also very strong against Nakroth because of that same reason. Makes it hard for Nakroth to push all the lanes that he wants to. Um, Rui's also really good against Elaine. If you use your S2 with Rui and Elaine uses his ultimate <laughs> and your teammate teleports back to the base, Elaine is dead instantly. I've done it multiple times against Elaine. It's pretty hilarious. She's also pretty good against... Uh, is she good against Hayate? I don't know. Xenial's not good against Hayate. Tiny's never played Rui. Yeah, there we go. That would explain it. Rui would be a solid pick here. We're going to have to see how Wyro does. I'm curious. Wyro into Zip. Ten seconds All right, guys. This is going to be a chronicle of the life of Zip. I'm very excited to see Zip play. I know I have to watch all the teammates, like everybody play, but it's going to be hard to not like talk about Zip. Oh, my goodness. They have a Conqueror on their team. Oh, <laughs> look. He like just made it into Conqueror number 50. I've seen the number one conquer more than I've seen the number 50 conquer, if I'm being honest. The number 50 is that's hard that's hard to get because you're f you're fighting for that 50th position on the the top, the leaderboard. So that means he's top 50 in the entire server with how many stars he has in master, how many victories he has. He's top 50, so he gets that fancy conqueror badge. Conqueror badge. Very fancy. All right, and Bento the God, I'm also excited to see Bento the God, who is that phenomenal Yenna player. He's going to be poking people with Raz. That's going to be great. We've got Infamous in the jungle, of course, against the uh, Nakroth in the jungle. So we got uh, those are our jungle picks. Top lane, we're going to be seeing that Conqueror against our boy Kino XD, the Ryoma. All right, why are you guys waiting at the fountain? Why are you waiting so long? I wonder. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> they're not an invade composition, so they're probably good. Let's go to the support. We got Tiny Awkward here. He's got to go protect his jungler. He's doing that. Meanwhile, we got Zip. Why is Zip going up here? Because Zip is expecting them to go to the red buff. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Bento the god poking away. Oh, he's hitting Zip again. One, two, punch. Up here, we got a little fight. Oh, we got Richter against Elaine. I feel like that's going to be tough for Elaine. Because Richter can just move out of Elaine's skills. And Elaine just swings the swords around wildly while standing stationary. While Richter can just uh, run away from that. So I feel like that's going to be a tough lane. It's going to be a tough matchup. He's a Raz main. Bendo the God's a Raz main, really. And he was that good with the Yenna. We see the bird going to the blue team. It's a good pick up there. Up top, who's going to get this bird? Uh, it's going to be a little longer to watch, so I'm not going to spend too much time up there. Now, usually you want to see Zip uh, harassing a little more if possible. Zip is very good at annoying the enemy jungler. Um, but, of course, you don't want to put too many resources up there. They're preferring, in fact, the blue team to protect their own jungle. They're worried about an invade. So they just want to make sure that they can farm safely. They feel as though, okay, if we're able to farm, we're, we'll be able to garner a lead that way they also know that the gank is going to be up top they know that the fennec the red team jungler started on the bottom meaning he's going to be up top and he's probably going to roam to mid so they should be aware that the jungler is coming nice little, little zip spitting on fennec there stuns him a little bit pretty strong and we've got four four man roam right here they're wanting the spirit sentinel that's the first objective that spawns on the map is the spirit sentinel followed by the abyssal dragon so i imagine they're going to take that and they're going to work their way down to the Abyssal Dragon, if I had to guess. Tiny able to make it out. 
Yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, they're making it down, but they won't be able to make it in time. So blue team actually opting to take the Spirit Sentinel, leaving the Abyssal Dragon for the red team. Red team gladly taking that. They're happy to. Look at that gold. They actually get a slight gold lead by doing that. Abyssal Dragon gives the entire team a little bit of gold. Whereas the Spirit Sentinel just gives whoever kills it a little bit of gold and a little bit of a buff. A little bit of healing buff, movement speed buff. Fun times for whoever is able to get the Spirit Sentinel. We got Frosty just hanging out here. Richter being the Bushman. Oh, he uses his alt too. He really wants to get that Zada. He's able to chunk him out pretty well. Pretty well. Now, if Richter and Raz had hit that together, they would have been in much better shape. Oh, Bento. Bento's really invading the jungle. He's got to watch out for that Elaine, though. Elaine's coming there. Lyra's helping Raz clear. Raz, very strong character. He's more of like a mage assassin, though. He has a lot of trouble killing the wave, clearing the wave. He's pretty slow at that. Oh, yeah, Ryoma lands the poke. That's pretty big. Hayate, though, so many teleports able to get out there. Raz also has such insane poke with his little fireball. He's got that fancy skin, too. That very expensive skin. That's how you know he likes playing Raz when he's willing to spend $80,000 to get that skin. Wow, that zip altered there. It's an interesting uh, choice to alt. He was hoping his team would go in. It would have been a good time for the team to go in, but they didn't. Wow, Tiny pushing. Did you guys see that? Pushed Elaine all the way back to the tower. That was huge. Raz able to get the kill. Ryoma's there. Oh, they ended up getting Ryoma. That is unfortunate. Poor Tiny went down. But not without a fight and not without getting some assists. Look at him. Two assists there. He's working hard for it. You can tell. You can tell. We can see the gold break down here. Let's look at the junglers. The Fennec, 2.1k gold. The Nakroth has 2.3k gold. All right. Nakroth oh, slightly ahead with two assists. Fennec as well with two assists, but the bottom team somehow. The jungler has more gold. It's not much, mind you, but it's a little bit. That's what you got to do. You got to go and you got to take a peek at the gold sometimes. See where people are at. We've got the supports facing off here a little bit. Tiny knows how to play Wyro. I've never seen Tiny play Wyro until now. Oh, that's a big alt by Elaine. That was a huge alt by Elaine. Fennec thought he had him for sure. Wow. And Elaine just goes in with his alt. Totally fine. Heals. And they got the kill. That was massive. That poor Fennec. There's a good play by Fennec, but an even better play by the Elaine. These are some high-level plays that we're seeing. We might have uh, some lag going on. I'm not sure. But we see a match paused. I cannot communicate with the teams because I am just spectating. There's nothing I can do except uh, chill with you guys. How you doing, chat? I need help. AV Kylo says I need help with some goofy letters. I hope you find the help you need, my friend. If you want entertainment, we have that. We don't have much help here, but we do have entertainment. <laughs> the game has started again. That's great. That's excellent. Yeah, Bento, look at the movement. Moving really well with Raz. Raz, you kind of have to play around with get to get comfortable with the movement. He's a little hard, hard to use. Yeah, look at him. He's a slippery guy. Zip alts out, but not very far. Just far enough. Hayate finishing his second item there. That'll help him deal more damage. It's pretty big. When you see the marksmen getting their items, you need to keep an eye on that because that's when they hit their power spikes. They get a lot of benefit from their equipment. Meanwhile, fight down here. Hayate really wants to get this Raz. Oh, they'll be able to. Yeah, with the help of the tower. Nakroth's running, but there's a lot of them. On oh, that's not Nakroth. That's Ryoma. Ryoma's running. Nakroth is chasing. Whew, it's really hard to get away from a Nakroth. I'll be honest. Nakroth, probably the most mobile character in the game. He has the most dashes for certain. He's definitely up there in terms of mobility. Like, Superman's very fast, but... Not oh, my goodness. Speaking of that, look at that lane. Going in on the alt on Richter. Richter's like, I'm just going to go into the tower. Elaine uses his alts so defensively. 
Have you guys noticed that? It's very unique. Meanwhile, I got Hayate really tickling this this poor Ry Wyro. Reminder, this is the final game if we eat dog wins. Wed. W-E-D. If they win this, they'll be undefeated. They'll eliminate the Eternals and they will win the tournament. That's what I'm told. Oh, look at uh, Wyro's taunts. Let's duel if you're brave enough, he says. As he wields this massive axe. Now, Zip hasn't uh, been doing as many Zip things yet. Uh, honestly, Zip hasn't really had to. His team is just playing very well. They roam so well. As somebody in the chat said, these guys play play together a lot. And you can tell. Yeah, I agree. Meanwhile, who's this? Is this Elaine? Yeah, look at that defensive alt. Yeah. I think he's going to go down, though. He can't fight a 3v1. Oh, my goodness. He flickers out. He dashes through the wall. I thought he might go down. Meanwhile, so he was distracting those, those players in the mid lane so that his team could clear the top. And they did it. They got it. So now blue not only has the bottom tower, they also have the top tower. You see, that's what the blue team plays for. This is big, big alt from Zada. Getting a lot of damage. Didn't end up in a kill, but Zip goes right in. That's his big Zip play right there. Uber yeets, as we call it on the Peter Pot channel. When you suck up your team, you roll right in there and you spin them out. Yeah. This is the, this is the Zip plays we're talking about right there. Oh, my goodness. Sucks up his team, brings them out, gives them big shields. They're able to get another tower. This push just never ends. Richter really wants to clear these minions, but there's four of them there. He's not going to be able to. Well, maybe he can now. Raz is back. Oh! Raz punched Elaine right into Zip's mouth. Unbelievable. And then you see Elaine pops out, gets another kill. My goodness. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Zip. Zip. You don't know who to vote for in the election? You guys need to vote for Zip. All right. We're, we're not getting political here, but I think everybody would want Zip to run the nation. He sucks. Not politically not in the way that you that you don't want him to suck he sucks in all the ways that you do want he will save you and your entire team just like kirby if you guys know kirby my goodness that was such an amazing engagement there zip just makes things so safe for your team elaine wants to go in with no health wants to alt like that no problem raz comes out wants to punch him and push him no zips there with his lips waiting his mouth is gaping he will save you Zip is my hero. Okay, Zip's pretty deep right now. I wonder what he's thinking. He probably has his ult ready. He doesn't even have his ult ready. What is Zip planning? He just wanted to bait there. That's the Zip was just baiting them. He's like, all right, guys, use all your skills on me. I know you want to kill me. Oh, the Elaine ult. Oh, my goodness. Elaine knows when to use his ults. Think about it, guys. Elaine had his ult for a long time. He could have used it. He Elaine could have used his ult down here, right? But no, he waited. He used it up here when Raz tried to run. No, he alts. He alts on him. That's so good. The, the caliber of these players. Like, yes, they roam together as a team. Play very well as a team. But just the, the sense, the game sense of when to use such game-changing abilities. Let's see how Zada's doing. Because Zada as well has been... 5-0 and 6 on the Zada. I'm speechless right now. That's unbelievable. The Zada is just phenomenal. Right, let's talk about the red team though. Sorry guys, I'm so focused on the blue team because they're, they're kind of winning. <laughs> they're doing a lot of things right, so I'm really focusing on them. And they also have Zip, who's just amazing. I just love Zip. He's playing really well too. If Zip was playing bad, I'll be honest, I wouldn't talk about him as much. But clutch plays from the Zip. Blue team is doing great. Red team though. They got Raz actually. He's doing the best on the team. Oh, this is a big fight right here. This is a big fight right here. Are they able to get out? Yes, Tiny's able to get out. Oh, man. Raz, meanwhile, is Raz able to do anything? Raz is probably dead. That's all of them. They're just going to turn around and kill Raz. Why not, right, at that point? That's tough. Zip goes in. Is that Uber Yeats? N not quite. Yeah, actually, it is a little bit. He brought in the minions, so... Wow, that's a that's just a red. That was a, a Hail Mary. Wyro said, you know what? The game's over. I just got to do what I can. Zip sucked up those minions, altered them into the core so they could easily destroy the base. 
All right, guys, before we, go, before we go to the scene, who do you guys think MVP was? That was the finals match. Looks like it's over. It looks like we have a winner because the Eternals were eliminated. But let's see in the chat, who do you guys think was the MVP for the blue team? Let me hear you guys. Conversely, who do you think was the MVT? MVP for the red team. Let's get those MVP votes in. You guys already know who won. The Eternals were eliminated, meaning... We eat dog. Wend, wed, ended up winning. They ended up winning. All right. So MVPs, we got our votes in the chat. Of course, I have stream delay, so I'm assuming you guys have given your votes. I can see the screen, so I know, I know who got the MVPs. But we're gonna go and take a look right now at the tournament and see who got the MVPs. You guys in the chat, go ahead and tell us. It'll pop up. It'll pop up here. We got Firefox guessing that Raz got MVP for the red team. We got a Richter vote. Adrian the best. You were right. You are right. It was definitely a Richter. And Mike, did you cheat, Mike? Did you see another stream? Because you got a bang on. Zada and Richter. Yeah, Styles, good guess. Zada and Raz, close. Raz did very good. Raz barely missed out on that MVP. Barely missed out. That was crazy. Yeah, Zada definitely deserved that. I mean, we focused a lot on the zip. Because zip was enabling some crazy plays. Zada got a lot of the kills. But guys, Elaine played very well too. Those alts really turned things, really turned things around. So we're just confirming that we have a tournament winner who's winning all that money and who's getting second place i don't know i don't know all the details guys tiny's is up <laughs> fire fog tiny stream yeah and i don't think the other streams have delays which if you're doing a tournament always always delays especially when you have money on the line, there's like a hundred dollars on the line. Always stream delay, always. Cause then if there's any allegations, uh, I'm sure people wouldn't cheat, but people might, people might. So that's why I do that. Tiny streaming this. Yeah, they actually had four streamers for this tournament. Four, he like, he wanted to get full, full coverage. I didn't know there was four streamers when I, uh, when I said I could do it. I thought I would be the, I thought I would be the streamer. So I said, sure, but what can you do? It's all good. Maximum coverage, everybody's watching, that's great. Wonder Woman strong. How's Anihi doing? I'm not sure how Anihi's team is doing. Uh, but guys, it has been uh, three hours. Pretty sure that was the final game. I don't know. Anihi. Anihi is pretty new, yeah. Oh, my eyes, too. Gotta clean, gotta clean out my eyes. All right, we said we'd do a viewer game with you guys. First prize is $50, yeah, and then there's like $50 worth of prizes for like second place and like MVPs and all of that stuff. Will didn't uh, try out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Will knew about it. Like I didn't even know about this tournament at all until they asked me to cast it. I don't know how, I don't know how the tournament got even like announced or what. I, I have no idea. But anyways, now we know more about it. So the next time this tournament happens, It'll have more coverage and exposure. So Anihi did a good, good job in that sense. So uh, I think it's over. I'm hearing no confirmations, but I know that my time's uh, pretty much over. So that being said, I said we'd do one uh, viewer game with the people before we ended the stream. Are you guys wanting to do a viewer game? You knew about it, but you declined. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already knew about it, but I declined. Guys, you don't play <laughs> you don't play these tournaments for the money. What? You don't play these tournaments for the money. <laughs> Yo, 
want to make money go 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 to your work or go I don't know <laughs> if it had more money then yeah then yeah but I mean what is this like four hours of playing with a team to maybe maybe get ten dollars because it's split five ways Thank you. 